Hello. Welcome again to Yoga for Kids and Their Adults. My name's Tony. I'm here at Me Time LLC, a massage and yoga studio with a gift shop here in Troy, Alabama. This program is funded in part by the Charles Henderson Child Health Center. They are a pediatric physician and dental office helping kids from birth to age 19. They fund us through a grant that they receive from the Children's Trust Fund, whose purpose is to prevent child abuse and neglect. So thank you once again for tuning in. Today is the last week, or this is the last week of April. And what comes after April? You got it, that's May. And you know that April showers bring May flowers. So today I thought we might sit and reflect on our rainy, stormy April in preparation for the flowers of May. In fact, you might even look around outside and see lots of flowers already. And it's amazing the different cycles that the earth goes through. We are exiting the cold, rainy, uh, wintry, springy, muddy kind of seasons and we are going into the hot, dry, summer, playful, outside kind of seasons. So before we springboard into May and all of the wonderful celebrations in May like graduations and Mother's Day and Nurses Day and Teacher Appreciation Day and all the wonderful holidays that fall in May, we're going to sit back, recharge, regroup, and get ready for May. So, if you're ready for me, all you're really going to need today is something to sit on. I have my trusty little chair here. You might be on your couch. You might be on a school chair. You might even be at your desk. So, just make sure if you are at a desk, you push what you can far away from you so you don't uh, bump into anything while we're moving around. Or, if it's not possible, just turn it to the side so you can at least reach forward. Okay, and if you're not quite that flexy, just leave your desk the way it is and just reach over your desk. Now, for you, fo for you parents out there, the, the adults who love and care for these kids, just find something comfortable and cushy to sit on that's above the floor. Okay, so to sit in a neutral posture to help facilitate this whole uh, getting ready for May, I want you to make sure that you can sit so that your feet are flat on the ground. Your knees are bent at about a 90 degree angle. Um, now, if you're a kid and your feet are kind of dangling, we can make this work to sit up t closer to the edge, okay? Just make sure you don't fall while we're moving. And, and parents and adults, keep your eyes on the kids, okay? All right, so we're sitting down. Our feet are flat. Our knees are not together. We're not crossing our legs or our ankles because that's going to put our hips and our back at a wonky kind of angle. We are going to keep our feet about hip width for this neutral posture. Okay, so this is going to be our seated mountain pose. So we have a very strong base. Our bottoms are firmly planted on our seat. Now, if you're a kid who had to scoot up to the edge to get your feet to reach the floor, that's fine. You can keep your hips firmly planted on that last bit of seat, chair, bench, whatever you're sitting on. Okay? Now, your shoulders need to be right above your hips, keeping your back up and straight. Can you do that? Excellent. Now, don't let your shoulders come up here trying to swallow your head because that's just going to tighten things up up there. That's not what we're trying to do. Consciously lower your shoulders. Let your ears and your neck have some space and some breathing room. Um, a little foreshadowing there. And keep your ears over your shoulders. Now, this might feel like you're trying to put your head way back here, but that's okay. You're used to sitting at a desk where your head's always forward. This is trying to neutralize the spine from your daily activities. Okay, so your ears are over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips. Hips are right behind your knees and your feet. Now, you're going to hold your legs straight in front of you. We're not kind of hanging out. We're not crossing things around there. Keep everything in a nice neutral posture and leave your hands down at your side. This is a nice, tall, neutral posture. This is your seated mountain pose. It's a good, strong, active pose. Now, you're not going to slouch. You're not going to hang around. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to activate every part of you in this posture, okay? You're going to be ready to go for all that fun in May. So, with your feet on the ground, I want you to lift your toes, splay them as wide as you can, 
push them down on the ground and pull them up to you. So it's like they're grasping at the ground, trying to hold on. Imagine in your mind's eye, in your imagination, that you are a bat hanging from the ceiling and your feet are what's grabbing onto the, the top of the cave. Okay? So that's a way to keep your feet and your lower legs active. Now to get your thighs and your bottom active, I want you to try to curl up. Okay? So it makes you sit up a little taller. Just kind of tighten everything up here on your bottom. Can you see how that kind of lifts you? And you can practice this while you're in the car. You can practice this while you're in, the, in your chair at school. Just nice and tall. Now we're going to nice deep breath in. Tighten up our abdominals, our, our midsection, our bellies. All right. Keep our shoulders down. Arms straight and next to us. See how that suddenly went to a super active posture? It's not like we're trying to grasp onto a ball here. Just keep everything active and attentive. Now, I want you to practice mindfully moving. Now, what is that, you ask? I want you to be aware of how each movement changes how your body feels. Okay? Let's practice this. I want you to, from this nice, attentive, active, seated mountain pose, I want you to lift your, your left hand, my right, you're mirroring me, bring it up and level to the ground. Okay? I want you to feel your shoulder. Did it try to move up towards your ear or did you have to actively lower it? How does it feel to keep your arm level with the ground? Can you splay your fingers out wide and keep them level with the ground while keeping everything else active as well, active and engaged? How does that feel? Is your arm starting to get a little heavy? Yeah. Can you feel the strain in your hand? Can you feel your muscles trying to pull your shoulders down? See if you can bring your shoulders back even a little bit. How's that feel? Now, mindfully, let your arm float down, carefully controlling it until it's back down in your seated mountain pose. How did that feel? That was a little different, wasn't it? Let's try it with our right hand. Okay, so lift your right hand, my left, so we're mirroring each other. Make sure that your shoulder is lowered so your neck has plenty of space there. Splay your fingers out wide, keeping everything active this whole time. Where are you feeling the strain? Are you feeling it in your back, in your shoulders, in your fingers, trying to keep them wide like that? Uh, how are your feet feeling? They're still active, so this might be a little tiresome. Hmm. So keeping your head up and neutral. Take one more breath. And then mindfully, aware of everything that happens, let your hand float back down to your side. Can you feel how that changes things? Can you feel the blood rushing into your hand? Can you feel a cool tingle or a warm rush? Are you paying attention to how your hands feel? How your shoulders, how do your feet feel? There's a lot of things going on here. So it's important to be mindful and aware of how your body feels. Now, one deep breath in, fully inflate your lungs, and then exhale and let your body relax. Oh my goodness, that feels amazing, doesn't it? That's so much different from everything active to everything relaxed. And try it again, go back to active, everything's active. Excuse me, lift your toes, splay them out wide, push them into the ground and pull them back. Fingers wide, everything at attention, everything active and ready to go. Deep breath in. Exhale and relax. Let everything relax. My goodness. What's one thing you notice right away when you go from attention to relaxing? That your back kind of curves, doesn't it? What about your hips? What happens to your hips? They kind of tuck up under, right? What about your legs? What happens to your legs? They kind of 
relax and, f- and splay out, don't they? It's important in your everyday life to remember to pay attention, be mindful of how your body's feeling and all the different things that it's doing. Okay, let's try a couple other mindful movements today as we are preparing for the fun in May. So, we've already done one arm, we've done the other arm. Let's see if we can do both arms, okay? So sit at your seated mountain pose, everything at attention, everything active and and aware. And on your next inhale, when you're breathing in, bring your hands, both of them, up and level to the ground. Keep your shoulders down low. You might even pull your shoulder blades back. See if you can make your shoulder blades touch behind you. It kind of opens up your arms, doesn't it? Tighten up your belly, your chest. Make sure your head is up. Not looking at the ceiling, not looking at the floor. Just kind of level with the ground. Where are you feeling your muscles put out effort? I'm feeling it in my hands. Feeling a little bit here in my shoulders. Definitely feeling it in my back and my hips, and a little bit in the belly, too. Can you feel where your muscles are putting out effort? Wonderful. Let's let's change this up a little bit. Go ahead and turn your hands so that the palms are facing up towards the sky. And then with your next in-breath, your inhale, reach up towards the ceiling, keeping your shoulders down away from your ears. Because most of you probably have this going on up here. Bring your shoulders back down. Your neck needs some space. Your ears are not supposed to be swallowed by your shoulders. All right. Let's go ahead and turn our hands so that they face out. Inhale. And on your next exhale, let them float down mindfully. We're not just dropping them. Feel every angle, every movement. Where do you feel the muscles engage? Did you feel them in your neck? Did you feel them in your shoulder? What about in your upper back? Did you feel them all? Good for you. Awesome. You are very mindfully aware. So now, let's see if we can kind of loosen up a little bit. Go ahead and let's come down from our active mountain here. So we're still sitting in our neutral posture, but now we're not quite so active in every muscle. We can give our muscles a little bit of a break. So we're going to bring our arms straight out ahead of us, level with the ground, palms facing each other. Put your right hand, or yeah, your left hand, my right, your left hand over your right. Turn your palms out, down, and in. Lace your fingertips. Bring them in, up, and Oh, out as far as you can. This is a good stretch for your forearms and your wrists. And if you can, see if you can lower your shoulders while you do this. Be mindful of your movements. One more breath. And then as you exhale, go ahead and bring your hands down. Release them and shake them out. Whoo, that was a big stretch, wasn't it? Let's try it again on the other side. Hands out level with the ground, your arms out level with the ground, palms are facing. Bring your right hand over your left, turn your palms out, down, in, clasp your hands. Bring your hands down, in, up, and oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Where do you feel the stretch? Can you put words to it? I feel the stretch all the way up my forearm, all the way to my elbow. I feel it in my wrist. My hands, my fingers. I even feel it a little bit in my upper back. Where do you feel it? All right, next exhale, go ahead and bring your hands in and down and let go and shake them out. How you doing so far? Not a whole lot of movement per se, but definitely a lot of activity. Okay, so let's try to bring our left arm up and overhead. Go ahead and drop your hand behind your head. Take your right arm, bring it up, clasp that elbow, and pull it straight. See if you can get that nice stretch going. Make sure you can breathe. Lower your shoulders. Your neck still needs some space. And be mindful of this movement. What do you feel and where? 
I'm feeling a stretch here in my tricep and even a little bit here on my side. What about you? Excellent. I knew you'd feel it. All right, when you're ready, inhale, bring your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your right hand back down behind your neck. Your left hand clasps the elbow. And let's see where we feel this stretch. Do you feel it about the same places? Right here in your tricep, maybe a little on your side. See if you can drop your shoulders a little bit. Give your neck some space. Excellent. Can you feel that? I'm so proud of you. This is amazing. Next, inhale. Go ahead and bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring them down to your side again, making sure that your shoulders are down and away from your ears and your neck. Wonderful. Go ahead and roll out your shoulders. First one way, then the other. And if you have a little wiggle, go ahead and wiggle it out. If you have a little kick, go ahead and kick that out. Get that energy out. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to try to stretch our legs while seated in a chair. Did you know you could do that? It's pretty amazing. Now, from this mountain pose, okay, bring your left foot up to your right knee, okay? If you need to hold it there, you can. With your left hand, push down on that knee just a little bit so you can feel a stretch. Now, if you're already feeling a stretch, don't push it. Don't ever do anything that your body is telling you it's not ready to do. That's how people get hurt, okay? So while you're holding this stretch, sit upright, and you should be able to feel it. Actually, observe how your body feels here. Where are you feeling the stretch? Is it over here on your hip? Is it a twist in the thigh? Is it an inner thigh stretch? Do you feel it in your toes? Where do you feel the stretch? Excellent. You are very mindful. One more breath. And then as we exhale, we're going to re release our hands from our foot. Let it mindfully go down to the floor. Don't just drop it. And then take a couple nice deep breaths. Go ahead and shake your hips. There we go. Now, let's do the same thing on the other side. So, with your right hand, you're going to hold, oh, with your left hand, you're going to hold your right foot up on your left knee. And if you want to, you can try to push that knee down just a little bit to intensify that stretch. Now, if this is as stretchy as you want to be, that is perfectly fine. Not everybody's body is as flexible as the next. So, observe where do you feel the stretch? Be mindful. Be present in how your body's feeling now. Where are you feeling that stretch? On your hip and your bottom? Good. On your inner thigh? Good. There's a little twist in the th upper thigh? Excellent. Are you feeling it anywhere else? There's a couple other places, maybe your lower back, maybe you're feeling it in your back and your shoulders. Whatever you're feeling is what's right for your body. Isn't that amazing? Even though we're all doing the same thing, not everybody feels the same sensations. That's awesome. Okay, let's do, hold this for one more breath. And on our next exhale, we're going to release our ankle and let it mindfully and intentionally Come to the ground, sit back on your hip, on your bottoms, and just kind of shake your hips from left to right. Excellent. All right. So now that we've stretched out our hips, let's use them. Okay? If you pretend like your bottom is a bowl, we are going to lift up the front, lift up the side, lift up the back, lift up the other side, and we're going to go around like that, and then we're going to change directions. Are you ready? So to lift up the front, we're going to rock back on our bottom. That's going to make us use our belly to tighten up and lift from the front. 
Can you do this? Make sure that your shoulders are down. That's something I need to be mindful of too. Now from rocked back, we're going to tilt to the side. So release that and up one side. Can you feel how these muscles engage? Actively and mindfully feel which muscles are pulling, which muscles are relaxing, and that helps you connect with your body again. Let's go ahead back to neutral and tilt our bowl forward. We're going to rock our hips forward. Excellent. Is everybody doing that? Imagine that you are a dog and you're going to wag your tail. You're going to rock your tail forward, your hips forward, so that tail can stand up so you can wag it. All right back to neutral. Let's go ahead lift up the other side. What muscles do you feel now? Now, if you keep your body upright, you might even feel the muscles here on the side. Excellent. Back to neutral and tilt the bowl forward. Tilt the bowl back. Tilt the bowl forward. Tilt the bowl back. Tilt the bowl to the side. 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 And then forward and back. And forward and back. How are you feeling? Can you feel all of those different muscles engage? That's amazing. Did you know you had so many muscles? My little boy always tells me he's got four muscles in his arms and he's going to grow more. So I'm pretty sure you can feel more than four muscles as you're moving your pelvic bowl. Let's go the opposite direction now. Let's go to the side. Let's go back. Let's go to the side. And let's go forward one more time. To the side. Back. To the other side. And forward. Let's do the other way. To the side. To the back. To the side. To the front. One more time. To the side. To the back. To the side. To the front. And now back to our seated mountain pose. Isn't that awesome? All these different movements. Did you know that if you just connect your mind with your movements, that is a basis of yoga. We are reconnecting our mind and our body. That's what I love about this. So while we're preparing for all of the fun things in May, let's try some breathing. So we've already kind of warmed up and moved our body around. Let's bring the energy down and let us do some cooling breathing. Okay, I realize that we're starting to get into this warmer weather. So how do you cool down when the weather is so hot? Well, there is uh, a type of breathing called satali breathing. That's when you inhale through the nose as you lift your head. And as you breathe out, roll your tongue in a, in a little tube and blow out. Actually, I think I did that backwards. Let's start with your chin down. Roll your tongue in a little in a straw and breathe in. Lifting your head and out through the nose as you bring your head down. Out through the nose as you bring your head down. As you bring your head up, tongue straw. Out through the nose, bring your head down. One more time, tongue straw. Out through the nose, bring your head down. You feeling cooler yet? I'm feeling cooler. So, as you prepare for this very active month of May that's coming up in just a couple of days, remember you can always calm down, you can always breathe and cool down, and you can always sit in a neutral posture that's completely active. So if you're ready to jump up and watch that ball game or jump up and play that ball game, you have your seated mountain. Thank you for joining me again this week on Yoga for Kids and Their Adults. My name's Tony. I'm here at Me Time LLC, a massage and yoga studio with a gift shop here in Troy, Alabama. We are sponsored in part by the Charles Henderson Child Health Center. Thank you very much. 
Um, they are a pediatric physician and dental office taking care of kids here in Troy from birth to age 19. They fund this program through a grant that they receive from the Children's Trust Fund, whose purpose is to prevent child, ab child abuse and neglect. Thank you very much for joining me today in our neutral posture, or strong seated mountain position as we get ready for the activities of May. I hope you join me again next week as we celebrate Mothers for Mother's Day. Have a wonderful week. Remember to be kind to yourself and others. Namaste.